Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. I did it in 50 seconds. No one has beaten that. Well, if it was... Well, that's amazing! How did you do it? I lost my bet. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training. Stronger and more agile with every passing year, his days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guild.